Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Lumion Tutorial. In today's video, we'll be checking out this new pain placement tool available in Lumion 10 and how it can help us to quickly place objects into our renderings. So over here you can see I've opened up one example and then basically I've already created some terrains around the surrounding. So I'll be showing you how to use the paint placement tool to help us to place things like trees, shrubs and some other nature objects to build some context around the uh, terrains and the surroundings. So let me get a good camera view so that I can show you how to use the tool to help us to place the object quickly. Okay, so in order to use the tool, right, you have to go to the nature library and then you need to choose one of the objects that you want to place into your renderings. So the object that I'll be using will be this tree over here called horse chestnut flowers. So I'm going to click on that. And then at the bottom, you are given four placement method to choose from. So you can select the paint placement uh, option over here. So once you click on that, um, over here at the bottom, you'll be given a few things that you can configure. So the first one will be the density bar, which is used to control the density of the object that is being placed onto your renderings. So I'm going to turn it all the way to the max. And then I'm going to click on this button, Paint Selected Object. And then I'm going to move my cursor onto the surface, the top surface of the terrain. And then you can see as I sweep my mouse around the top of the terrain, it actually paint the object um, onto the surface. And then because I've turned the density all the way to the max, you can see the spacing in between the trees is very close together. Right, and then if let's say you want to delete some of, some of the trees away, you have to click on this erase button and then you just sweep around the trees that you want to remove, like this. Okay, now I'm going to choose another type of trees, probably the horse chestnut tree over here, and then this time round, I'm going to um, turn the density all the way to the the lowest which is around 0.1 and then I'm going to place a few trees over here so you can see as I'm, going, I'm placing the trees right you can see the gaps in between the trees are very uh, big because of the density uh, level that I've, I've set over here okay I can also place some other objects like uh, flowers Okay, I'm going to go for flowers and then probably I'm going to go for this African daisy pink and then I'm going to click on paint placement and then I can drop a few of the flowers onto my terrain over here as well. And then I can also click on um, plants and then over here probably I'm choosing this plant over here and then I'm going to click and place a few plants as well. Okay, and then last but not least, I can also click on rocks and then I can also place a few rocks onto my terrain over here like this. Okay, okay now let's say I want to delete some of the objects away from the terrain. I can just select the objects that I want to remove in this case with the stone and then select erase over here. And then when I sweep across the terrain, you can see it's only removing the stone and not anything else. Okay, so using this paint placement tool in Lumion 10, it can actually help us to quickly place hundreds of nature objects into our, into our scene to help us to build up the context uh, of our renderings very quickly. So that's the end of my uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.